the hell? Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Who you call him, boy? Kick you in the nuts. Boy, didn't you hear the dinner bell? Oh, oh, oh Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. All right. So we're not going to go mess around in the bathroom. We're going to go look for our boy Mark. That boy might be in trouble. These creepy backwoods hillbilly mother suckers. been making up a whole lot of excuses so we gotta see what's going on here we got a power cable why am i whispering we got a power cable leading into this room let's see what's going on in here So we got towels, medical supplies, all this crap, and morphine. Let's back out a little bit. So we check that shelf. Let's see if we can find out any clues about Mark's whereabouts in this side room. Is that blood? Why the hell are they blocking a room with a bookshelf? Nasty cannibal motherfuckers. Gotta go protect Clementine. Should have grabbed the gun, Lee. Clementine, no! Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had to start. He could use some goddamn manners. It didn't have to be this way. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off! You're eating him! That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. 
Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. We outnumber you. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking Y'all out of come here! here my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? You sound bitch. I'll kill you! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They—they they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Walker. Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please settle down. Fuck. I'll rip your goddamn heads up and make you swallow them. They got caught you and duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us on the way! Alright, so the way to get out of here is through the air conditioner. Do you want to live? That is not going to help. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Easy. Uh-oh. Maybe you're right. No, goddammit! My dad survived worse than this! 
Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! <laughs> Didn't I tell you, Larry? You go get yours, Larry! You are gonna get yours, Larry! Let's go, Kenny. Let's get that head. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't wanna see... I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Let go of me! You can't save him, Lily. Cannot save him, Lily! Get him, Kenny! Get that motherfucker! No! No! Look at that boy's head is obliterated! God help us. I'm sorry. I Don't know you it. fucking touch me! Clementine. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So we won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. <laughs> I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? How about you walk your talking? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I know I could not have been here in this situation. Because I would have just been laughing maniacally like The Undertaker. And his Ministry of Darkness persona watching that dude getting his head squashed. I know it was necessary. But I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. Rolling my eyes in the back of my head, giggling, sticking my tongue out like I lost my goddamn mind. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. Kaja and Doc. What about him? You don't think they're St. John's? No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. Duck is valuable as a bargaining chip. We gotta get to them. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she'd probably side with the St. John's against us. How you doing, Larry? <laughs> get away. <laughs> I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away! You next, Lily! You fucking next, Lily! You fucking next! <laughs> Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Larry would have wanted. Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. But... You don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He'd want you to get out of here. I couldn't pretend to give a shit about her or Larry. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. If we can remove these screws... The AC should come down easily. 
Larry is the one with the coins. If you remember back at the motel, he talked about having coins in his pocket. We gotta rob his dead ass. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Willie. I I'm really not. I didn't like the motherfucker. I don't like you. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was yep. alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? That'd be nice. Permission. Do what you have to do. Jack this sucker. I'm gonna jack this sucker. Give me your money, Larry. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture. I like how that boy's chin is still intact. Kick him right in the nuts. Right in his dead nuts. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. I should, though. Huh. He still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Sixty cents. Let's <laughs> look at this dead piece of trash. Woo! You got yours, Larry. I told you, motherfucker. I told you. Move these screws and get this unit off. I only wish I could have did it my damn self. That boy decked me and left me for dead. Fucking Larry. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. Fucking Larry. I wish you would come back as a walker so I can kill your punk ass again. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Crawling through vents like Solid Snake. Get your Solid Snake on, Clem. Give her a bandana. And a SOCOM pistol. Clem. Solid Clementine. Damn. I wonder how many people they chopped up in this damn place here. I told you there was something up with this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. I guess we can add Larry to that body count. <laughs> it's a good weapon. I like it. There's a 
Hayhook, a sickle. The Hayhook is another weapon that you can use. God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sickle and tied through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Don't worry about that, Lee. She's harder than the rest of us. Jesus, this is where they put your people. Sick bastards. All of them. And the mini kettle prod is another weapon you can use in place of the uh, hay hook and the sickle. Your step. That's slippery. All right, so let's get the hell up out of here. Talk to so you. what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Sneak on, I like it. Who wants some? I dare some dead asshole to try across my fence tonight. You don't have to worry about the walk, it's full. Yeah. There. What are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. <laughs> Sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we What's he doing out there? I don't know. Take one to keep and kill the rest. Take him out together. How? Yeah. It doesn't matter what we're doing. He's going to walk past us to get to the feet locker. We can take him out with his back uh, to us. See so what he's I doing now. Over. This Lee, is my focus. focus. Where's Danny? Danny? When I let one think they can just walk the damn right cow scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh -oh. Playing with the guns. He's inside. He's not coming any closer. See where he is now. Lay down that damn bear trap. I don't see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Ah, damn! Get some! Oh. Don't you, don't you do it! Get his ass, Kenny! Jumped him up! Kenny's putting in work this episode. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Cat! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. <laughs> You're gonna get yours. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Mark never volunteered to be food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. Oh, I'm gonna show you, motherfucker. I murk suckers. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clement and safe. Boy got a pitchfork in his heart. Woo! Woo! Kenny! Kenny, where you at, man? Oh, 
goddamn. What you doing, buddy? Get one in the back of your head. Cap clutch. Carly. That's my girl. Ow. We need your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Alright, let's go help Kenny and his family. You can hear Katja screaming at him. I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? I left Danny in the bar. He got what he deserved. Come here. Let me go! Now, the first time I played this game, I'll admit you I died. Get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda! Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. I tried to play the badass right here. Stop right there, I mean it. Put the gun down, bitch. <laughs> So that's how I died the first time. You just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. Please, please don't. She was still funny the second time. Brenda, come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Put the gun down, bitch. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Look at home dude up on top of the staircase. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! Let her go, Brenda. Please, listen to him. I'll do it! Please. Up there. He's hungry. I don't want to kill you, Lee. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. I really want to see the other aggressive options, but I'm afraid she's gonna keep shooting me to death. And I don't want to keep doing this over again. Even though that shit is funny as fuck. Get some, Brenda. They took Doug. Where's Teddy? I said, don't move, asshole. Carly shot him in his ear. I don't know how that boy is still alive. Maybe she just grazed him. Boy took one to the ear and he's still trying to rump. He's gonna get some. We went a rumbling and a tumbling. Get up, Lee, get up! Oh damn! 
fuck it, this punk bitch. You can't fight me hand to hand. You wanna turn on a electric fence? Come on, fight out, Lee. Fight back, Lee. Aw, oh, damn. Carly, where you at, girl? Don't let this motherfucker electrocute me. He trying to take me out. He trying to barbecue me. I'm not Mark. You will not be snacking on me. Fight it, Lee, fight it. Lily? Lily, help! This bitch here. You gonna get yours, Lily. You gonna get yours, Lily. Oh, damn. Sitting here pointing at the damn screen, talking shit. Back elbow to the gut. You wanna kill somebody, huh, sucker? Let me rock your jaw real quick. I'm gonna make you feel. I'm an equal opportunity face puncher. Whoop that ass, Lee. Whoop that ass, Lee. Oh, I ain't done yet. Now you're by a long shot. You swollen face motherfucker. Lee is dropping them bombs on this sucker. How's your fucking nose? Damn. Lee, that's enough. Hold that boy up. Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. This boy talking that mess. It's over. Fuck you. As soon as Dan and Bubba get out here, you, you all fucked. <laughs> I killed your brother, and your mama's a dead piece of dog shit, too. They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? And you will be joining them very Don't soon. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Is that what you want? Oh, you won't be lonely, sucker. I'ma send you to beat your mama and your funky-ass brother in hell. Let's finish his ass off. Take motherfuckers out. That's what I do. Yeah. I remember how you didn't help me out, Lily. You, you about to get what they got. You about to get it, Lily. It's like your funky ass dad got it. like a dairy farmer. <laughs> hey Lee, I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? 
Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? She's not stupid, Carly. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready. I've changed my mind. I want you to come with us when we leave. Yeah? Hell yeah. We're a team, man, me and you. By taking out Larry before he turned, you saved all of us in that meat locker. And that saved my family, too. Yeah, I'd say you earned it. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes. They were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark, and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Come out or I'll shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for the mode. Better not play. Looking pretty clear. Figures. Oh crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back? Then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. <laughs> Those laggy eyes? Those laggy eyes? It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Don't be a smart ass, Kenny. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Supplies? I'll take it. More food in here. Shake your head, I'll slap you. You'll really be shaking your head then. 
I'll carry it. About time you make yourself useful, Ben. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapers, mon- Oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. You need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find thinking it, you're I'll safe. Let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who just... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. That woman's crazy as hell. I'm glad she's dead. <laughs> that boy Danny put one right in her head. And I put one in his heart. Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much face is going on. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Episode 3 gets heavy. The long road ahead. There's a bunch of craziness, but chapter 2 is done. And everybody chopped his leg off. Before playing the game through the first time, I didn't even know you couldn't chop his leg off. 80% of players let Danny shoot her. I should have shot that bitch. I didn't like her either. <laughs> you were 31% of players helped kill Larry. I guess a lot of people didn't like Larry, but they didn't dislike him enough to kill his ass. How come everybody doesn't get their ass whooping on, man? How come I'm the only one who's man enough to whoop some ass? At least people stole like I did. Alright, so that's chapter 2 of The Walking Dead. We're going to pick it up in chapter 3, episode 3 of The Walking Dead in the next part. And I will see y'all there.